Okay, the question says we have to find the vertex ABC for triangle where you know the midpoint of AB is given 1, 4, midpoint of BC is 2, 0 and midpoint of AC is negative 4 and 1. So, let's simply do a sketch for triangle ABC. This is 1, 4. And I'm going to label my A as X1, Y1, and so on. So let's write the expression for uh, midpoint of AB now. So what do you will do? X1 plus X2 over 2 is equal to 1. And then Y1 plus Y2 over 2 equals to 4. So that will lead to... And you can do this for all now. I have done for AB. So when you do for BC, you will get X2 plus X3 is equal to 4. And then Y2 plus Y3 is equal to 0. And now when we do for AC, we will get X1 plus X3 equals to negative 8 you see divided by 2 equal to negative 4 so i multiply i will get negative 8 then y1 plus y3 equals to 2 so the moment you got this okay let's label this as equation 1 2 and 3 my aim is to get the x1 and the x2 and the x3 for now looking at the x variable and i realized that the x2 repeats twice and the x3 also twice. Then the x1 also, I have two of them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add up 1, 2 and 3. So what do I get? I'm doing 1 plus 2 plus 3. So that is going to give me 2x1, 2x2, 2x3. And let's see what we have here. We have a 2, we have a 4, we have a negative 8, which will give us negative 2. So when I simplify... I'm going to get negative 1. I do the same thing with my y, but I will show it later. But look at this idea. Now, the moment I got this one, I know from equation 1 here that x1 plus x2 is 2, right? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute it here. So, I know that now 2 plus x3 is negative 1. The same way... This is by doing, inputting the 1. So, if I input 2, equation 2 here, which tells me x2 plus x3, 4. So, x2 plus x3 is 4. So, that gives me another 1. And when you do for equation 3, inputting equation 3, which is x1 and x3. See, look at this. I have the x1 and x3 here. That will help me to find the x2. So, x2 minus 8 is equal to minus 1. And from here, from here you know your x3 is negative 3. And your x1 is negative 5. And your x2 is 7. Use the same way and you can find all your y coordinates. Okay, you can find all the y coordinates. Now, I'm going to show you a shortcut on how to do this very fast. It, it is derived from this concept, but it's much faster. Let me show you how to find the B easily. What you have to do, you take the X coordinate. See, the B is here, right? So, you go along here. You take the 1, you plus the 2. So, to get the coordinate B, the X coordinate. So, I'm going to do 1 plus 2. And then, you take the one that is opposing the coordinate of the B here, which is the negative 4. So, what I did, I took 1 plus 2. And then, I'm going to minus with this. So, minus, minus 4. Uh, that will give me the x coordinate of the b. Okay, let's try. 3 plus 4. What is 3 plus 4? I am getting the 7. Let's check. Is the x2 7? The x2 is 7. Okay, let's do one more. Now, let's see how I am going to get for the c now. You are here, right? So, you go this way now. Negative 4 plus 2. And then you minus... With the x coordinate that opposes the c. 
the y you find on your own. Let's see what I get here. Negative 2 minus 1 which is negative 3. x3 right? I should get minus 3 right? Let's check. Minus 3. So you can use this shortcut and find the answer in 20 seconds. It's that simple. Hope this helps.